you don't have to change every single memory. So the brain is constantly updating memories. All right, and then the third question this week. Um, I've been trying to change memories, uh, but I have too many. I feel overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. Um, it feels like I'll never get through them all. So I know that, that I know that um, that problem. I had that um, as well when I first started. So first of all, it's important to know that you don't have to change every single memory. So the brain is constantly updating memories based on what else we've experienced since the last time we recalled it or since, you know, yes, yeah, since the last time we recalled it. So as you change one memory, the brain then updates, automatically updates the others um, that were connected to it. And so that means you can just start with whatever the earliest one is that you can remember, and then your brain will update the rest. And if, um, if you, you know, if it can't for some reason, then you will uh, remember one, you know, then, then it'll, uh, you'll remember another one. So change the earliest one to the opposite positive empowering and practice that new memory until it's established and then move on to the next earliest one you can remember. And uh, like I say, you may find that uh, the later memories have already changed by the time you come to them, or you may find that uh, they're at least quicker and easier to change. And if you're still feeling overwhelmed, then the overwhelm itself might be a program. So in that case, start with start with that. So leave them the, the other memories for the moment and start with the overwhelm, asking yourself, how do you know you feel overwhelmed? Or what's the worst thing about feeling overwhelmed, the overwhelm? Um, and then secondly, ask yourself, how, how does that feel? And then uh, uh, what's your earliest memory of feeling that particular feeling? And um, don't worry about any of the other memories for now, just focus on that earliest one change that. And then finally, another option is instead of changing memories, you could start with creating new memories from scratch using the bookmark memories technique. And I will put a link to that technique in the description or the comments of this video. So hopefully that's helpful and, and that'll help you to, to get started. But of course, let us know if you need more on that.